Contrary to popular belief, most people don't actually want to be free, which explains why democracies rarely, if ever, elect libertarian leaders. It is the irony of political ironies that when people are free to choose, they choose not to be free. Most people believe that if society were ultimately free, completely and utterly free, it would destroy itself. But is this why we vote away our freedoms? Because you think that most people, if offered the choice, would end up choosing drunkenness, drugs, failure to hold the job, refusal to be inoculated, and pregnancy out of wedlock? Is it because you would destroy yourself? Because you were too stupid to be free? Or is it because you think everybody else is too stupid to be free? Well, wouldn't it be funny if everybody else thought everybody else was too stupid to be free, and that was why we voted our rights away? A lot of people believe that when you download music that doesn't belong to you, that's stealing. Well, it's not. If you steal something, the first person doesn't happen anymore. If you want to accurately relate downloading music that doesn't belong to you f to something, then you would have to relate it to learning. Because when you copy information from somebody else, you both have it. Learning is always good. I can picture in my mind a world without hate, a world without war, no religion too. And I can picture us attacking that world and plundering their women because they would never expect it. <laughs> Tell a man there are 300 billion stars in the universe, he'll believe you. Tell a man there's a bench with wet paint on it, he'll have to touch it to make sure. Give a starving man a fish, he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish, he'll owe you for his life. Give him a fish a day, and you'll have something to withhold from him in case he doesn't comply with your demands. This is the philosophy that establishes countless government programs. When you fall asleep, where is it that you are falling to? How about when you're falling in love? Isn't it horrible when you've fallen and you can't get up? There is a law of physics known as the thermodynamic law of entropy. There is also a law of coolness known as the coolness law of entropy. This law states that it is more difficult to make something uncool cool than to make something cool uncool. For example, for a word or a fashion item to be made uncool, all that has to happen is for your parents to start using it. But if you wanted to make something cool that was uncool to start with, that would be very hard. That that is, is that that is not, is that not it? Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. There's a town in Burkina Faso called Bait. I'd sure like to be the master of that town. Silence is golden. Duct tape is silver.